Hi guys, welcome back to my mom's channel. Uh, today we're just gonna have a quick episode where we wanted to thank all the subscribers who got us past the 10k mark. So last week uh, on, I think it was uh, Thursday evening or Friday morning, um, we got the message from YouTube that we had passed the 10,000 subscribers and we're now actually sitting at about 10,150 subscribers after today's video. Um, so I think a lot of the comments we got on the channel, uh, not only last week when we posted that we had passed the 10K mark, but uh, also, you know, through the year that we've been filming and, and putting out these episodes is that uh, a lot of people have said uh, thank you to me for actually sharing my mom with the world um, and for filming her episodes and, and putting them out on YouTube. But, um, you know, I think everyone knows that my mom is the star and uh, it's no thanks to me. Uh, it's all her hard work through the years that actually got me to where I was and into the position uh, that I could be in to actually showcase her cooking. So it's, um, I think, very little credit to me um, for doing it. And all the credit actually goes back, if you think about it, to uh, my mom as well as my late dad who raised us to be the people who we are. And, you know, showcasing my mom's talent on, on YouTube is the least I think I could do uh, because she is really a talented cook and uh, I, th I always say the greatest testament to her cooking is you know how fat I am so <laughs> uh, I think uh, thanks mom for uh, you know always uh, uh, working so hard to to get us to where we are today and uh, today we celebrating you and we are very proud of you and uh, everything that you do so I think uh, we hope that you keep it going. Uh, I think I'll just hand over to Prancha now, who will say a few words as well, and then we'll get my mom to say something. So like my brother said, we echo that sentiment. My mom is an exceptionally talented cook. Her dishes are not only simple and easy to follow, but it's infused with so much of love and learnings and experiences that she's gathered over the years. She's just not a mom to us all, but to the world that she's bringing these videos to. And we thank her for her efforts. And these are not just a collection of divine dishes for us. It's a collection of memories. Uh, we are incredibly proud of her and we wish her many successes in her future endeavors. Okay. Mom, <laughs> don't cry now. <laughs> Uh, so we hand over to you, Ma. I, uh, I don't know if you want to tell your, anything to your viewers. Okay, I want to thank my children, all my children, in fact, a very big thank you for encouraging me and looking forward to move on because there was a state where I actually lost hope when the dad passed away and to pick up the pieces. I had to be the brave one and continue looking forward and bringing many, many other children to acknowledge what a mother does in the kitchen. And I want to thank the, all my subscribers and all my viewers and looking for the new year to a better future and I also want to learn new uh, curries to prepare and new baking. I mean, it's never too late to learn something new. Thank you all, all for keeping me moving forward. Okay, thanks, Ma. I think uh, this uh, last uh, 18 months or a year, we've learned a lot from my mom. So we just wanted to quickly get her to run through some of her top recipes on the channel. Not necessarily the most viewed or the most liked recipes, but uh, you know, the recipes that have brought us uh, the most joy in, in recording and, and putting out there and sharing with the world. So 
I think we're going to start with um, uh, recipe number five, which is uh, the snowballs that uh, my mom did with uh, Prancha, who's sitting here today. And uh, it was one of the recipes that I think uh, got shared a lot because uh, everybody loves snowballs. Who doesn't love snowballs? So Ma, I don't know if you want to say anything about the snowballs. Yeah, the snowballs brought me a lot of memories when I first came to Joburg and uh, making snowballs and sending to Pranesh's office where everyone loved the snowballs and I would love sharing it to the rest of the viewers too with the help of Pranisha. Yeah, I think um, anyone who's uh, shared an office with me would know that you know, if it's a birthday or a special occasion there'd be snowballs in the office uh, to eat uh, at tea time. So that was a treat that everybody looked forward to. Um, I think then uh, the number four recipe that uh, we shared, I think Ma was your fish biryani with the boiled eggs. Yes, that particular time we did not get fresh fish so we used the anky clippers or we used up the baby egg showing the recipe of uh, the fish biryani but only if we had the fresh fish that my nephew Basil has provided, it should be a bigger hit. Yeah, so hopefully Basil catches some more fish soon and will make a nice fresh fish biryani. So mom, tell us more about the chicken biryani that you cooked on the outside fire. You generally have made larger quantities for many people in the past through your catering and your orders that you received when you were down in Durban and you tried to continue it up here in Joburg. Uh, but then COVID hit and it became extremely difficult to interact and socialize with people, which meant that the gatherings were fewer and far less. Um, so yeah, mom, number three, your chicken biryani. The chicken biryani brought me a lot of memories and uh, took me back to my past where I lived in Newlands and doing outside cooking and serving uh, 60 to 100 people it was just joy doing uh, the cooking in the outside fire and even my poiki making at my son Pritesh and my daughter-in-law's place, it was memorable and very encouraging to know I can still stand the heat of the firewood. Okay, I think uh any top five on, on the channel would be remiss without uh, mentioning my cousin Hazel and all the wonderful uh, sweet treat uh, recipes she shared. So I think number two would be the banana puri. Yes, the banana puri is uh, standing at uh, 66. Yeah, I think 66,000 views. 66,000 views. Uh, Basically, I think she overtook me in many, but uh, being young, she's more, I have more energy than me. So maybe one day or the other, I had to sit back and watch them. Yeah, I think uh, Hazel's uh, guidance on the banana puri step by step was something that a lot of people were looking for. And that's what made uh, her sharing the, the technique uh, with us. I think uh, so good uh, and, and why so many people actually tried out the recipe and had great success with it. So I think thanks again to Hazel for you know making a guest appearance on the channel this year. It was great having you uh, on here. And I think um, the number one recipe, um, well I think there's a few videos with uh, my mom making roti but um, I think the number one recipe for uh, my mom on the channel would be, uh, you know, any one of those uh, videos. The first video we put out was uh, her making dal roti and I think that's sitting at about uh, 15,000 views and then we've got, you know, her normal soft roti sitting at about 55,000 views and then the second dal roti video is also over 10, 10k views as well. So um, 
and she did uh, 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 stuffed rotis with uh, potato and uh, sugar roti and what is the last one? Uh, three corner butter roti. Oh, the three corner butter roti. So yeah, uh, I think my uh, any uh, memories about the rotis and roti making and, and why uh, you know rolling rotis is such a uh, good pastime for you. When the time your dad uh, came for a proposal, the first words he asked me, do you know to make roti? I said, even if I don't know, I, I'll, I will learn. Why? Why that question? He said, because I am a roti eater. I love my roti for my daily meal. And uh, you have to learn to make roti if you want to marry me. <laughs> so I got married into a large family and made roti for a large family. So when coming to live with Pranesh, it was basically just that uh, one dozen roti per time. It was quite a confusion. Measuring things out became very confusing. And uh, so I had to start getting into little, cooking into little uh, portions of food a dozen of roti, but eventually I got used. Yeah, I think uh, one of the biggest uh, things you'll find across the whole Indian community is a lot of aunties know how to, you know, make their special mutton curry or their uh, roti and they'll tell you, no, just add until you see it's right and then if you're doing it for the first time, you don't even know what right or wrong looks like. So getting my mom to measure quantities uh, was a challenge, uh, not only for the channel, but even uh, when we first moved up and, and started cooking ourselves, getting my mom to, you know, tell us how much uh, salt goes into, I don't know, beans curry or something like that. Um, she's like, no, just add a, a handful and you're like lost. And I think a lot of Indian kids would relate to that. and. A lot of us had to learn almost by trial and error, uh, you know, adding additional salt or adding too less salt to a meal and then having to correct. Um, so, you know, that, that's how we learned. But uh, having a resource like my mom on YouTube with the quantities and the, you know, exact recipe is helpful to a lot of the viewers, I hope and is one of the things that actually motivated us to keep going uh, and keep making videos. So yeah, I think a big thank you again to all the, all the subscribers. If you are watching this video and are not subscribed, I'd encourage you to hit that, that like and subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber and have been enjoying the content that we put out, uh, you know, please give us a thumbs up. Please uh, share this with uh, anyone who you may know who uh, could benefit from, you know, watching my mom's recipes and some of her other uh, hobbies as well, like the knitting and the garden. Um, it's uh, hopefully going to be, you know, uh, going for much longer. We've still got a lot of recipes to share. And I think we've got requests for a lot more recipes that uh, some of them we don't even have a recipe for or a uh, method that we have down. So we'll be doing a lot of experimenting in the kitchen ourselves, just like this uh, last paneer video where we had to do a number of tries before we got it right. And eventually we did get it right and we put out that video. So. Don't forget to, to hit that like and subscribe button. We're going to enjoy our tea and our donuts today. And uh, thank you all again. Thank you all for watching. Thank you very much. And please continue to support my mom. And thank you for all the support and encouragement.